Hi guys, Liam K. Byrne here from liamkburn.com and Zen Yoga Health. This is a series of short beginners yoga sessions. So perfect if you are brand new to yoga or if you are returning after a while. So just make yourself comfortable, lie down on your mat in Shavasana. So for some people, it's gonna be just fine to stretch out like this, keep it nice and relaxed, roll your shoulders back a little bit, shake out a little bit if you need to. You could also bend your knees if you like, if there's any discomfort to your lower back. So we just take a few moments here now to observe the breath. And once your breathing is settled, then you could begin to breathe a little more deeply, but without forcing. Just keep it nice and easy. Breath work and movement synchronized throughout your yoga session. So just place your hands to your abdomen now. Remember you can have your knees folded or you can lengthen out the way my legs are straightened out here. And just note how as you inhale how the breath will fill the abdomen. If it feels that your breath work is shallow, now is a good time to gently encourage your breath work to become a little deeper. So you should feel your abdomen rise and fall with the weight of your hands there. Now let's place the hands to the rib cage. As you inhale, you should feel the rib cage begin to expand and swell outwards. So the point here is to encourage full yoga breathing, to use the lungs more fully from the abdomen all the way up through the rib cage and on up to the chest and to the shoulders. Most of us tend to breathe a little on the shallow side and of course shallow breathing can give rise to feelings of anxiety and stress. You can move your hands up to your chest now. So just take note as you inhale, you're gonna fill from the chest down through the rib cage down into the belly. And as you exhale, that your abdomen will fall again, the rib cage will contract and the chest will fall as well. So just keep the rhythm nice and steady and easy and slow. You should be feeling nice and calm. If you were feeling a little anxious or stressed before you began, well, you'll be feeling a little better now. It only takes a few breaths. Well, let's now rest hands down by the mat again. Move the fingers and toes a little bit. Take a stretch out, a full, easy, long stretch out from the fingertips all the way down to the toes. And now let's draw the knees in. Take a hold of your knees with your hands. Massage out across your hips, across your lower back, maybe a little across the middle of the back as well. This is a lovely way to start any yoga or other exercise routine. Let's tuck in the right knee. And you can aim to bring the knee straight in towards the chest and the shoulder here. So this is gonna put a nice gentle stretch down into the glute, a little bit into the hamstring. Now take your folded right knee with your left hand, take a breath in and exhale. Draw that folded right knee over to the left hand side and look over your left shoulder. We begin to gently stretch out across the hip. So the glute, the piriformis will be stretched here, also the lower back and the sacroiliac joint. Come on back to center and let's switch the sides. So we tuck in the left knee this time. Remember, you can tuck it more or less into line with your chest or shoulder here. So you'll feel a little bit of stretch into the groin, the stretch into the glute and the hamstring. Now take your right knee with your, left knee rather, with your right hand. Exhale as you draw that knee over to the right hand side and look over the left shoulder. Nothing too forced, keep it all nice and easy and gentle. The stretch should feel real nice, real relaxed and easy. Inhaling, come on back up to center, take both knees, massage out, rock out the small of the back again. This is a lovely way to just stay relaxed and get into a nice meditative and relaxed state of mind. Okay, so come on up to seated, take a hold of your knees with your hands, we'll do some neck rotations. Inhale, drop your head back. Exhale, come down to your right hand side, chin down to the chest. And inhale, come up to the left, drop your head back. Let's come back down the way we came. So we come down to the left, chin down to the chest, 
and then inhale all the way up and back again and then exhale chin straight down to the chest and then let's sit all again so what I'm going to do here is so what I'm doing here is I'm going to take the left side of my head with my right hand and I'm going to pull gently counter resist pulling the head against my hand so I'm pulling over to the left hand side with my neck muscles and I'm resisting and pulling to the right hand side with my right hand so this is going to build up a little bit of resistance in the muscles on the neck so that when we eventually relax there'll be a little more stretch through those neck muscles on that side so when you're ready just reach over take a hold of your head on the left side then take a good breath in exhale relax the neck muscles and draw your right ear down towards the right shoulder and hold that stretch come on back up the center we're going to do it on the other side now so left hand over to the right hand side remember we resist a little bit it's not it's not full strength it'll be about 10 20 30 percent of maximum mm -hmm. when you're ready exhale and just relax your left ear over to the left shoulder and now let's release hands down to your knees again inhale lift the shoulders up to the ears drop the head back exhale roll the shoulders down chin to the chest inhale lift the shoulders again head back exhale lower the shoulders down chin to the chest and inhale lift up exhale roll the shoulders back down chin to chest good so let's take the left hand around behind take your right hand over to the left knee and then look over your left shoulder so some things to note here in this rotation we are going to use the supporting hand that's behind the left hand to push yourself up tall so try to feel try to feel or imagine that you're going to be more or less perpendicular to the floor here good spinal alignment and with your right hand you're going to deepen the rotation so now remember as you inhale project upwards through the top of the head as you exhale maybe deepen into the rotation hold it another good breath in and then exhale and let's release come back around to center we get ready for the other side so it's the right hand behind this time the left hand over to the right knee remember as you inhale you push in with the supporting hand stay as tall as you can as you exhale use the left hand to deepen your rotation and then come back to center a little counter turn over to the other side and then rest your hands behind you take a breath in push your chest and belly forward head back exhale the other way around your back chin down to the chest inhale push back roll back the shoulders nice back extension here and a stretch across the chest exhale chin on down to the chest again now let's stretch out the legs let's alternate with the feet uh, flexing and extending so we begin to free up the muscles of the lower leg mostly here and then rotate outwards rotate inwards a little internal and external rotation of the hip here just go at your own pace we're freeing up a little higher up through those muscle chains up through the hips and now trace out a few little circles with your toes Just nice and gently preparing the body for movement, freeing up things gently. And now let's walk the feet in, hold on to your knees with your hands, inhale, arch a little forwards, exhale, roll back. And inhale, draw forwards. So we exhale, chin to chest, round the back. Remember to keep your tummy tucked in here, your navel tucked in about a third of the way. And let's inhale, lift up again back nice and long and aligned, lift up the toes, we're coming into a modified boat pose.
So this is already the first version with the toes lifted. If you like, you can support the back of your legs with your hands, lift the heels up. Try to keep your back long here. Make sure there's no strain to your back whatsoever. If there is, rest your heels back down. Think alignment here. A straight line more or less from the hips through the midsection on up through your neck and into the crown of the head. Let's rest those feet back down, step the feet out. Shake out your legs a little bit. Keep it all nice and relaxed. Now, let's step in the right foot. This is head to knee pose, or Janu Shirshasana. We take a breath in and exhale to walk your hands forward. So, a couple of things to note here. We'd like to have, you see how the, my hands are down at more or less the same spot here down at the ankle. What can happen in this pose is we tend to tip out to the outer side, so the left side in my case. And you'll have the left hand further down and the right hand a little further up. So we lose the stretch to the outer part of the extended leg. That's the left leg here. So try to keep it so that your hands are more or less at the same spot here on the floor or down in the extended leg. And once you're ready, you might relax a little further in. You don't have to. Might be you could ease off a little bit. You could aim here to bring either your forehead down in line with the knee or it could be your left shoulder. Both of those are equally good. Inhale, walk hands in, come on all the way up. Another little shake out. We're gonna get ready to do the other side. So tuck in your left heel, just as far as feels comfortable. Take a nice breath in, exhale and walk your hands out. So again, look to have your shoulders chest and shoulders more or less at right angles to the right leg here. Aim your line of sight, your forehead down towards the right knee. Don't force it. Keep your midsection lightly engaged so your lower back is bolstered and protected by your core, your energy lock. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, step out the left foot, shake out your legs a little when you are ready. Let's tuck in the feet again, cross-legged pose. Inhale, pull a little forward, drop back. Exhale, chin to chest and round your back. Just keep your back nicely freed up. And now let's bring the hands into Gyan Mudra, thumb and forefinger together, the other three fingers extended, or you could rest one hand on top of the other just down to the ankles, or maybe cover up an energy center. So uh, this is the navel chakra. You can just rest your hands lightly across the navel or keep them a centimeter or two just in front. Begin to observe your breathing. There's nothing to do here. It should feel relaxed and easy. There's no particular goal in mind. So if you brought any concerns, anxieties or worries with you into your yoga practice, just leave them aside now. Don't worry if they continue to play in your mind just observe and stay with your observation of the breath or if you like hold your awareness at the energy center that you've chosen to focus on so in my case here it's to the navel Very good. Now let's slowly roll all the way back down onto the mat. Again, you could have your knees folded. That'll be better for some people if there is a little shortness in the hip flexor, which gives rise to pain in the lower back in this position. Or just step your feet out. And either just relax focus again to your breath work or you could you could take your awareness down to your feet and just imagine that your feet are disappearing and melting down into the floor below you don't take too long with this keep it simple then a breath in come to your shins and calves as you exhale allow those to disappear away into the mat below you let's move a little higher through the knees into the quads a breath in and exhale and just let them go relaxing and dissolving into the floor below you 
move through the hips, a breath in, and exhale, let them go. Through the abdomen, through the rib cage, a good breath in, and exhale, just let go. Now to the arms, to the chest, and to the shoulders. Again, don't take too long. Don't overcomplicate. Take a breath in and exhale. Just let all tension release into the map below you. And now let's finally come to the neck, to the jaw, to the ears, to the forehead. Take a breath in. And then as you exhale, just let any tension or thoughts disappear into the floor below you. Good. So we are ready to come back to ourselves now. Move the fingers and toes a little bit. Move the head from side to side. Take a nice long stretch out from the fingertips down to the toes. And when you're ready, find your way back up into a sitting position. Take hands together into prayer position. Guys, namaste. Thank you so very much indeed for watching. Leave any questions or comments in the comments section below. And I will see you guys on the next video in this series. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care.